Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do my, I always forget what month I'm doing, my July favorites. And I just, what I did, instead of really, you know, going through every single little thing that I like, I just kind of did my makeup today, and as I came to each product, I, you know, tried to pick my favorite, what I would pick if I were picking my favorite things. So, um started out with, and I did use the um, BB Boomer Cream, and um, it's the third time I've used it, and I can say that I really like it, especially for those of you who feel like you want more luminosity to your skin. That is, it's really pretty, and it does make it smooth on so much easier. So, um, and you'll see, I'm trying a different camera. So I'm doing this on my webcam and on a camera. So I'm having a hard time figuring out which way to look and I'm just going to post whichever one turns out better. So um, I won't do this again. Next time I'll know which one I'm going to use and it won't be this bad. But anyway, um, you guys know I love the BB creams. I get so many questions. I, though everyone feels that I have oily skin, I really do not have oily skin. Um, I don't have any breakouts or anything because of oiliness. Um, I do like a luminous finish and I think that's why most people say that, but I really have normal, if I had to say it would be normal to oily, but I have pretty normal skin and the my favorite BB cream is the Misha Chobo Yang. This is a small size that I ordered off of eBay. I cannot even remember who I ordered it from. Just make sure it's a power seller and this came from South Korea, so I felt like it was pretty legitimate, and there's not a, not an English word on there. But this one seems to have the best coverage and the best color for me, and it's number two. So that would be my favorite BB cream. Um, my favorite bronzer has been the Too Faced Chocolate, just because it's a darker one. I did just get the, um, Viola sent me the Bourjois which I love, but it's not quite as dark. She sent me the medium, and I think if um, the darker one probably would be more comparative to this, but that's great because then I can use that when I don't have a tan. But um, I have really, really enjoyed this, and I used it today, and you can see that it's a great contour and um, smells awesome, and I love it. And it is matte. Um, I don't know if it says that. Yeah, matte bronzing powder with real cocoa. The blush, I hate to keep drilling this in because it's not available here to us, but it is the Deborah Milano blush in the 46 Rosa Pessa, and um, it's just beautiful, and I'm sorry, but I don't know. I'll try to find a dupe for it, but I just love it every day. It is just the perfect, perfect flush, rosy color. It goes with anything. I can put it on whether, you know, without knowing which direction I'm going with my eyes or my lips. So I love that. Um, let's see. Um, eyeshadows. I have been, you know, just all over the place with eyeshadows, and I got those palettes that I love, and I'm really trying to step out of my comfort zone and go with darker shades, do different liners, and just experiment a little bit. And um, Rhonda sent me these, and I had never heard of them, and they are the Bella Pierre. I don't know where it's written. must be on the, yeah, there it is on the top. Bella Pierre Pigments, and this is a nine stack, and this is the um, Pandera stack. And I just love these colors. Now, I haven't used all of them, but I have used, I always start off with this, and I've used this, this one, this one. And I think maybe that one, but they're just beautiful colors. They're all, it's what I've got on today, and it's all I've got on. So, um, I just love these. And they are, they seem expensive, but if you think about it being nine shadows, and even Bare Minerals is, you know, what is it, $16 a shadow? And they just have the best finish. They blend just like a dream. There's not a lot of fallout. And I just love them, and I really do intend on getting another one of these. I just, I, I want to get another one with some more light colors. That's what I'm going to get next. And I did see those on eBay, and they do have a website. Um, let's see. Um, eyeliners, I've been just loving my Chanel cake liners. I've got the black and the um, Celadon, which is a dark black green. And it just ends up being, 
you can't even tell that it's really green when I put it on. It's just a, it ends up being a softer black. Now this is the newer because this is what's available all the time. The other colors are just limited editions, but I just love it. They just get, it's kind of like the ease of um, gel liners. You know, if you take a gel liner and you just put it on your hand and you just really get it all in the brush, it's like that, but you don't have to do all that. It just, the way it just gets all in your brush and you can get right down into the lashes, I mean, where your eyelid kind of curves down into your lashes, it gets all in there real easy. And um, I've got the black on today, which is really black. <laughs> but I wanted to be able to use something that you could all get. Um, I really like the Celadon because it's a little bit lighter, but it's just a wonderful liner. It's, I think, $45, which seems really expensive, but that will just last you the rest of your life. You will never need another one. Um, and it doesn't dry out because it's a cake liner. You wet it every time with your Fix Plus. So, love that. And I have just rediscovered this little Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. I use it just, I think, every time I use that. I like all of my other, the Sonia Kashuk pointed and everything, but... The reason I like this, I think, is because it is just the perfect width for the line. And it's like a no-brainer. And it's easy for me to get both sides the same because I'm not having to add to it. So it's just so easy. And um, then I just turn it to the side to do the wing. And it just flows. It doesn't um, come apart. I think that's a sign of a good brush. It's just, and I have had this years and years and years and years. This is one of the first brushes I got way before I did YouTube um, when I went on my Bobby Brown crusade that I always, you know, I go to, from one brand to the other usually and try about everything. So I love this brush. I just, I feel like has opened so many new doors for me and some of you have said that you think my brows are too dark and I realize that they are darker than I've ever used before and, you know, they are they are, I'm doing the whole brow probably the darkest tone in my brow. So I could go lighter or I could go this color. And it is the MAC Charcoal Brown Shadow. And then I've been using this Lee Swatche, um, let's see, I think it's called a Lash and Eyebrows brush. And I've got all kinds of brushes. I think the one that would be most similar to this would be Smashbox, if I had to guess. But you can see it's not too thin. It's not as thin as like the MAC um, 2, I can't remember that one I have. Not the 208, but maybe the 210. It's, I like that it's a little bit thicker, and it's pretty dense. It's just perfect. And then I go back over it with the end, and um, I just love this color. I feel like it's just... It's just, I've got Omega, I've got, you know, all the other colors that a lot of people use. I've even, um, I have tried, let's see, what is the one that a lot of people use? Not Patina, but there's another one that just has a little bit too much green or gray tone in it. Um, I just love this. And I feel like since I've been using this on my brows, it has enabled me to use darker on my eyes because... It just it gives it more balance, and so love that. Um, now, mascara. I've kind of gone, I've kind of been radical here lately. But I opened this. Bridget from California, uh, not California, Canada, sent this to me months and months ago. And, I, you know, I didn't want to open it because I was using all my other stuff. And so one day I just opened it, and I have fallen in love with this comb stylist here. It's called Lash Stylist. It gets so far up into your lashes that you do not even need tight line. And so this is not available anymore. And this is the next one that I have tried. This is what I have on today. And um, I just got this last week and I've been loving it. It's the Napoleon. Now I will warn you, if you are somebody that does not like a lot of mascara on your eyelashes, this is not for you. But if you're somebody like me that likes a lot of mascara, and likes a real impact, it's awesome. The fat side or the one that's spaced apart really packs it on and then you can take that closer side and really fan them out. And what I like is I've been able to take it and do it right on my bottom lashes, right at the root and not really go all the way down. So you still get the effect of mascara on the bottom, but it's not, 
I feel like it doesn't bring my eyes down as much and it doesn't give me raccoon marks because there's not actually mascara on the very tips of my lashes. And I have worn this all by itself. I wore it yesterday, Saturday, I think Friday, and no raccoon marks. And that is just such a wonderful thing for me because a lot of mascaras, all MAC, all Chanel, most mascaras, voluminous, um, most of them will give me darkness under my eyes, and this hasn't so far, so really praise this already. And then today, um, just for something different, I used my Laura Mercier Passion Fruit Lipstick and the Natural Lips Liner. I really think this would be something, I'm always on the lookout for things that not only do I like, but things that I think would appeal to a wide range of people, and this is one of those. It is a very shimmery, not but not so shimmery, not like a Mac Frost. It's just a shimmery nude color, and the beauty of it is that it can be pulled to a pink nude, maybe even a peach. I haven't tried peach, or this type nude, which is more of a brownish, natural tone. And that's what I have on today. And this lip liner, you can see, and I hope that you can see, I've done it right on the edge of the lips where it spills over and it gives you that very, very full, maybe too full for some of you, but just that Pamela Anderson type, you know, look um, gives you the fullness in your lips. And I just love it. And it goes with so many things. I mean, you can tell that color I mean, I think the girl that works at, Mary Ann, that works at Laura Mercier, she uses this with so many different things because I always ask her, you know, what do you have on your lips? And I think she's had on a bright pink one day, and she said she had on the natural lips. I think she always starts with this. So I love those. And I think that's it for the makeup. Um, and then I did bring out my um, favorite hair products. And... I think I named this in my last month's, but I use this every, every time that I wash my hair. And it is this Rusk Smoother Conditioner. It says Passion Flower and Aloe Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner. A lot of people ask me if it actually says leave-in, and it does. Um, you can see um, how far I'm down in the bottle, down to here. I mix this. I put a good amount a good quarter size around amount and I mix it with a little bit of oil just your choice I use the I've used the rusk oil before I've used the um, what is it the one the Moroccan oil and I've used the it's a 10 and a lot of you have asked me which one of the it's a 10 oils I like I like the intensive the thicker one and I just put a little bit in there just as soon as it comes out you know I pull the ball back up and mix it all in there and just run it all through my hair now I just washed my hair last night and so it's um not as I don't know it's fluffier and I almost I almost prefer second or third day hair and when I say second or third day hair that does not mean I don't take a shower I actually put my hair up in a messy bun, just in a um, bun on my head, and then I'll take a shower, and then I'll take it down. And I even, even if it gets wet along the bottoms, I actually even like it more because it'll give it more wave. Um, so I love that. And my favorite hairspray this month has been this, which I've had this for a while, but that's how it is with things. Like if you don't like something immediately, hold on to it because sometimes when you change different routines and stuff, you'll end up liking something better. You know, I bounce back and forth to things all the time. But this is an extra hold hairspray. It's um, color hold, caviar, anti-aging for Tammy. And, um, but it's a very, very dry hairspray. And it has worked out well for me going a couple days. It isn't sticky, gummy. It just is a good hairspray for body and to hold style without it being just heavy and yucky feeling. So, favorite scents this month, by far, it is the Bond Number no. 9 Fire Island, which is a very uh, Bobby Brown beach, copper tone, beachy type scent. I mean, it's just the beach in a bottle. And I just love it. It's very, um, just non-offensive. It's something I can wear with John, I can wear it to church. You know, when I'm going to be right beside him in the car or something, because he's very sensitive to scents. 
And, um, I mean, it's not just that he complains. I mean, he will just sneeze and eyes, you know, water and everything if I wear something. Like a lot of the Chanel scents he can't handle. Um, but um, he loves that. Or loves might be a strong word, but he, you know, doesn't say anything about it. And I get plenty of compliments. The guy that was here the other day pressure washing the house, I was taking stuff off the front porch, and he said, you smell good. And I had that on. And this is another one that I was excited to mention because this is something that's pretty easy to get and not as expensive. It's not as expensive or as hard to get as the Bond Number no. 9, but it's the Bliss that Olivia sent me from Canada. And I know you can get this at Sephora, and I'm thinking you can get it at Ulta too, but it's a very fresh, um, just a, gosh, it's like a shower fresh scent, um, but with a a feminine, more of a feminine vibe. It just smells so good. And she said that this was featured on the, or shown on the Kardashians. But, um, and it's just a great scent. I love it. And I, I can pretty much spray this on and another scent almost every day. It mixes well with everything. And, um, I love that. And my favorite shoes have been, I've got them back no, there. I have just enjoyed those wedges that I've gotten at Ross, I have enjoyed those to pieces, and those are probably my most worn, but I know that they're not available to everybody because we all know with Ross, it's hit or miss. So um, the next ones I have worn so much, and they are so comfortable, and I get a compliment every day I wear them, and that is these, the Jessica Simpson wedges that I got, and I just love these. Not only are they nude, so they go with everything, I love these stripes because they kind of make it a little bit sporty, like if I'm wearing just a denim pair of shorts or skirt and any American Eagle t-shirt or just anything, I feel like this, I can put this on and, you know, it's got kind of a sporty touch to it, but yet it also, you can put it on with something dressier. And because this, I think, is so wide, they're just so comfortable. I can wear these all day. And here is the name. It's, um, this is the Jemmy, J-E-M-Y. And the color on these is sesame. And these are available in a black. And I believe they're available on Zappos. I'll check. But I want to get them in the black, too, because they're great to wear with jeans because they don't flip. Even though you slide them on, they don't flip on your foot so your foot doesn't get caught. And they're just a good height. And they're, they've been real good when I'm trying stuff on, especially jeans. You know, I've been on my jeans craze. And... Um, so every time I try on a new pair, I can slip those back on to see how they're going to look with heels. So love these, and I just recommend them wholeheartedly. I think you'd enjoy them. That's it for my favorites. I'm going to do a quick out for the day, and I'll be right back. Today I have on this maxi dress that I got earlier in the year. I got this one and a black one at um, New York and Company. And what I love about it is it has the adjustable straps, so I was able to pull it up and... It's just very comfortable. Um, I love it because it's, with all this up here, it kind of gives you some support. And um, I love the length. If I wanted to, I probably could wear a wedge. But I really, I'm just wearing my little silver um, Javiana flip-flops, and that's probably what I'm going to wear today. So this is what I have on today. And for accessories, I have on these awesome earrings that Angelique sent me. Italy. From, I kept wanting to say Germany, but I knew she didn't get them in Germany. She got them on her trip to Italy. And let's see. Let me then I have on this here. ring, which is a Pandora ring. And I have on this bracelet that I got last year. It's just one of those stretchy bracelets. And I think I got it at, um, yeah, I got it at J. Crew. I think that's what that says. But I, I'm pretty sure I got this at J. Crew. Um, Michael Kors watch, silver with the blue face. I have really, really enjoyed this one. Um, wedding ring, and this is one of the Le Maitier polishes that Rhonda sent me, and um, I cannot remember the name right now. I'll put it down here. It was, started with an E. I can't remember, but um, it's just a good neutral. I don't know if it, you have to tell me what you think about it on me. I don't know if it washes me out or it isn't my, quite my tone, but um, something different, and I love these little polishes. They go on so good, and then for since today, I have on both of the ones that I showed you, the Bliss and the Fire Island, and I think that is it. Um, a couple of you had asked me about the earrings that I showed the other day. What are they? these? These are also from Angelique, and I'm not sure if she got these from, I think she got these in Germany where she lives. Um, I love these. These are probably up there with my 
all-time favorite earrings. I just ordered two pair that are very similar to this, and hopefully they'll be here by the end of the week, and I'll show them to you on Friday. And um, then I'll give you the link and everything, and we'll see if they are similar to this. So I love them. They have a good impact, but they're light. So I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.